the feeling in the judging room, I think uh, everyone takes it pretty seriously. So it's, uh, but at the same time, as I say that, it's like everyone I think has fun with it. It's sophisticated, um, but yet comfortable. It's a little intense, but comfortable. Being a judge is, I mean, it's remarkable. I mean, it's high status, uh, lots of fans, people adore us. It's pretty great, you get a, um, everybody gets their own room. My favorite part about being a judge is telling my friends that I got to be a judge. Cause they're all like, what? How'd you get to do that? I'm, like, I'm a beer expert, man. Uh, my favorite part of judging at the OBAs is making Ben Edmonds happy. Basically, it's an invitation thing based on experience, knowledge, and whether or not you're continuing to pursue uh, development education in, in sensory and beer judging. Every single day, I think about how I'm gonna stay in shape for this line of work. More, more. 28, 29, 30, yeah, 42. And you know, I gotta keep myself tight, I gotta keep myself in shape. Apple, marker, light bulb, 650 piece puzzle, one piece missing. Well, I think what we're trying to do is find the best beer. Uh, at the table or the best beers at the table. You know, there's a lot of integrity and uh, responsibility that comes with this task. When it comes to judging beer, people think, is it just good or bad? But it's so much more than that. I mean, there's taste, there's aroma, there's uh, mouthfeel, color, um, sound, uh, there's touch. How does this feel? How does it react to the skin? You know, all these are important when it comes to a beer moving on to the next round or not. You have a tremendous responsibility in front of you. You know, you have to think about what you're judging. You have to come up with the words that you want to write down, and you have to have really bad penmanship. It's a good, uh, uh, like, mystery novel. Sitting back with your group, and you're like, well, who done it? Your flight is set in front of you, and you now have your first contact with these individual creatures that you have to learn about. So you take a moment, and you center yourself. It's, it's challenging, but I think that it definitely makes me better as a brewer. Uh, judging beer has been the single most valuable sensory experience that I have ever had. To select this type of diverse judge group, you certainly do have to look at a few through lines. Experience doing this before kind of comes first, or having proven your palate in some way. And I think the quality of the judging here, honestly, is just higher than you're gonna find in, in nearly any competition I've heard of. They have the, the highest level of skills not anyone can do it. They gave me this tray of beers and said I had 45 minutes to score them. I thought this was Carol's birthday lunch. I work here in finance. Um, my name is John Harris. Apparently somebody signed me up for this. This one's gone bad. To be honest, I have no clue what I'm doing. You're getting a lot of citrus on this one. A lot of berry too. Yeah, it's real beery. I'm too far in it now to turn around. That and I really don't like confrontation. And there's a witch here? Did you see the witch? I'm, I'm pretty well respected in the untapped world. I'm sure that you guys all know that. Uh, that's why I'm sitting here today. The best thing about untapped is that anyone can be a beer judge. So uh, what do you guys all think of beer 86753? I can smell the IBUs. Two and a half caps. If no one sees you rate a beer, did you even drink it? Think about that. Um, I think the OBAs reflect the beer community in Oregon by just showing kind of how much of a community we have. That's one of the things that's been really wonderful about being a part of this industry for so long is that it really adds value to people's lives to make beer. Because there's so much creativity in the state and it's, and it's kind of out of control. The talent is out of control in the city and there's so much good beer. I think that people constantly make better beer by talking about things instead of kind of figuring things out in the shadows, and I think we, we do that really well in Oregon. But I think it's hard, to, probably harder to find a bad beer in Oregon than it is in, in most places on the planet. Quality, the, the thing that makes Oregon beer stand out is quality. I think Oregon has a really high caliber of beers, and everyone here knows that. You been to Washington? I can't say that. Um, at the end of the day, it's it's a celebration of beer, and it's about this community coming together, and you know, being a community, and also letting everybody in that community know who's the best at it. <laughs> That's what makes Oregon so special as a brewing community. Everyone's interactiveness. Plus, we're very good looking. 
it's people that you know, friends that are making these beers, beers that you've had. Uh, the community with the OBA is that most everyone knows each other or has at least run into them uh, around town. Yeah, what's the OBA is, I mean, it's, it's the only competition that exists for exclusively for Oregon beer. So the styles are based on what's being brewed in the Oregon marketplace. The judges are predominantly from Oregon. And it really is a celebration of Oregon beer. What does OBA stand for? Welcome to the Oregon Beer Awards. 